Ever since I came into the furry fandom, I've struggled to find a word or a term that really explains or describes exactly how I feel about certain things within it. To a great many people, they could be considered a fetish or a kink, but when you don't have sexual attraction to that, or even sexual arousal, or even anything sexual in any direction, then what do you call it? And while I can struggle to try and find an easy umbrella term for my interest in things like slippers and paws, I think it's actually a problem that plagues the fandom quite a bit more. It seems like furry is the main thing that people are interested in, and then beyond that, there's usually something else to do with furry that you like as well, and it's actually not always sexual. In fact, quite rarely is it a sexual thing. It's just an attachment. I'm furry and I like paws. I'm furry and I like inflation. I'm furry and I like scat. Everything just sort of rolls into that, you know? It's a, it's almost like an improvisation thing. Yes and what? And I mean, it does make you wonder, are we just defined by our kinks? I mean, you do get people who are just purely furry. They like just being a furry. They like the fursuit in the characters. That's it, they have no real attachment to anything else, but it seems they're pretty rare. They're definitely the minority here, and the majority of us have something at least that we like to feature in artwork, or we find cute, or to a lot of people, what turns them on, and it just kind of feels like maybe we are a bit defined by that. I mean, think about it, if you actually took away all of the kinks or interests or whatever you want to call them, a lot of people would be lacking. There wouldn't be a lot that makes them a furry. Um, more than just a, an appreciation of it, I guess. What do you guys think? Is it just part of being a furry that you kind of have to have something extra bundled in there as well? Or, or, or is it easier to actually just be a furry without having that? Is that just something that people bring into it? Do you come into the fandom with it? Or do you find it when you're here? Pop those comments down below and let's start a debate. A master- Oh, No, 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 no. I was- I was in trouble like two words into that yet again. I was going to say mass debate, but obviously it sounds like wanking. Good evening, and welcome to ANN. Thousands of hapless furries were left without the constant validation of numbers and popularity this Sunday, as we saw widespread outages of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Hookups and roleplays have been reportedly affected by the outages, and pent-up furries have been voicing their displeasure over the lack of lewds on their social media. Twitter bore the brunt by becoming a minefield of lewds as people began to get horny on main after being cut off from their other sources of lewd, but thankfully the outages only lasted a few hours at the absolute most and we were back to normal secrecy on WhatsApp once again. On to fandom news now, and it seems the documentary series The Fandom has faced shadow ban issues after apparently being muted from search results for supposed NSFW content within their documentary. It seems the group has since been able to resolve the majority of their issues by raising tickets with Twitter support, which is honestly quite a shock that Twitter seems to have support or listens to anybody on their fucking platform, and they are resuming their programming with their next documentary about YouTubers, covering the same YouTubers that everyone's already aware of. <sighs> Next, onto a breaking developing story concerning a self-proclaimed designer fursuit label recently being released and causing a stir within the community. Fursuit maker Zweitersick, hope I didn't butcher that pronunciation, recently released a range of luxury designer fursuits with different styles and business practices from the norm, aping different things like Gucci and proper upmarket designer labels. This obviously goes against the grain of quite a few fursuit makers and creators within the community, despite reports that the venture is being put out there by a popular fursuiter. The company recently commented on their botched launch with a tweet to their official Twitter account complaining of an apparent oversight with a marketing company hired to launch the company. Perhaps their poorly chosen wording has been misconstrued by many, although it's hard to misconstrue certain phrases like this. The general reception to this business launch has been a negative one, with many creators coming out against such an alien approach to making fursuits and defending the smaller, more hobby creators within our fandom. Time will only tell whether this launch ultimately affects their business, although from where I stand it seems pretty obvious that this ship has sunk before it even got chance to set sail from port. On to political news, and it seems that after discussions with the EU, the date of Brexit has been officially pushed to the 31st of October, Halloween. 
I think I should make a joke here, but quite honestly, that in of itself is a fucking joke. Moving on, we next join Aaron for the sports report. Aaron? Thank you, Artemis. Sports. And that concludes the sports report. Thank you, Aaron. Just enough time left for some entertainment news, and it seems that fanboys have been shitting themselves routinely around the entire world after trailers for Star Wars, Avengers Endgame, and of course the return of Game of Thrones hit our screens. This has led to a rise in so-called normies sitting around coffee tables in their workplaces, complaining that they don't watch such trivial little bullshit and prefer instead to read magazines such as Take a Break that feature husbands who apparently fry babies. Honestly, if you've watched Game of Thrones, they're not all too dissimilar. That's just about all we have time for tonight. I've been Artemis, and you can all do one. Okay, here we are once again, you know the drill, you write shit, I read shit, I say shit. Oh uh, god, I don't really think there's much else to talk about with this segment, let's go and take the piss out of some of your words. Seems like you could be the first UK president ever. I'm not actually entirely sure how I'm supposed to take that, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, your current president doesn't exactly lend a good example to the word. Also, we have prime ministers, which... Honestly, I couldn't tell you what exactly that means. They're a minister and they're the prime one. Like fucking Optimus Prime, although Optimus shit looking at that fucking cunts. Well, thank you. I don't think I'd be all very great at running the fucking country, seeing as I've got no idea how half of it works. But then again, neither do our actual elected MP, so I'd probably fit right in. This is the most jealous motherfucker I've seen in my life. And then there's a link. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take the piss out of the fact he can't spell jealous properly, so that kind of diminishes your point a bit. Second of all, I'm going to point out that the link is for a Google search of the word jealous. Um, <laughs> sorry, jealousy. Uh, first of all, why don't it just link me to the definition, like dictionary.com or an image? Second of all, did you have to Google it just to get the fucking definition to make sure that you were correct? Third of all, you're commenting on a video that's like three fucking years old. Uh, fourth of all, um, the video is satirical, so if we need to go back and explain exactly what that's fucking about, then maybe we will. Uh, fourth of all, jealous, jealous, fuck off, okay? Anyone who's jealous of exactly what I was taking the piss out of needs to go and get themselves checked over because there's something not quite right with what they feel is good and bad in life. Just one way to die, go in a Mursu to a convention. I don't think that leads in death. Like, I've been to a couple of conventions, you see a lot of those suits. I reckon that just leads to more fame and popularity and people filling your holes, for God's sake. I don't think people die doing that. I think that's how they fucking live. Okay, looks like we've got some options. Uh, fuck my country for voting to leave the EU. Fuck the EU for passing laws that actively fuck over my YouTube channel. Pick one. Okay, do you not understand what it's like to be just a single issue voter? If the only reason I was voting to be in or out of the EU was whether I can be a dog on the internet, I probably shouldn't be allowed to fucking vote, okay? It's bigger shit than that going on. But you do understand that it's okay to have, like, multiple opinions on something, right? To be able to look at political parties and say, well, I don't agree with this, but I do agree with that, and that outweighs this. That's called having an informed fucking opinion. Not being, wah, wah, I don't like this one thing, so fuck the rest of it. Oh, what a terrifying glimpse into the fucking people that are allowed to make decisions over what this country does. No wonder it's gone to the fucking wolves. And finally, came for Artemis, stayed for his salty attitude and pause. But let's be honest, if you took the salty attitude and pause away, there wouldn't really be much Artemis left, would there? So basically, you came for the salty attitude and pause, and you stayed for them as well. Fuck it, that counts for me. That's fine. I have plenty of salty attitude. I have plenty of pause, for God's sake. There we go, we survived the YouTube comment section once again for another week. Holy shit, must be some kind of fucking miracle. If you feel like you want to have a crack at being funny, leave a comment down below. If you feel like you have some bullshit opinion that you need altered or changed, then fucking tell me about it, then I'll fucking school your ass. Otherwise, just, I don't know, fucking thanks, uh, thanks for enjoying the video, I guess. Guess we're going back to kissing ass and shit. Oh. Thank you.